so dear students today we start matrices so matrices is a very important chapter in basic, basic mathematics here we study first definition of matrices after then algebra of matrices with properties that means we have to define all the operations on matrices like addition subtraction after then multiplication then we see the transpose of matrix with properties then cofactor of matrix then adjoint of matrix using cofactor matrix then inverse of matrix using adjoint of method then solution of simultaneous equation using matrix inversion method now so now we see the definition of matrices a system of numbers arranged in rectangular format along with rows and column bounded by rectangular bracket like this is called matrix so here we see this is a rectangular bracket this is a horizontally arranged element we have to say that it is a row this is row 1 same this is row 2 now this is a vertically arranged a and c this is called column 1 b and d this is called common 2 now in this case how many rows and how many columns are there so row 1 row 2 this is column 1 column 2 so therefore how we write down the order first we write it number of row into number of column so in this case how many rows are here two and how many columns are there two now remember one thing we have to define determinant in the same way but the arrangement of the uh, bracket is different determinant in determinant we consider two bar and here we consider the rectangle okay now student we say the difference in determinant and matrix in determinants we have to arrange the element in the form of row and column in between the two bars but in case of matrices we have to arrange the element in the form of row and columns in the rectangular bracket now in determinant the cross multiplication that is a into d minus c into b it is possible but in case of matrix these things are not possible another difference is number of rows and column must be same in the determinant but in case of matrix the number of rows and number of columns may be different as well as same okay here we see some examples on determinant and matrix now here determinant order is 2 by 2 two row two column here the order of the determinant is 3 by 3 but in case of matrix order may be different like this way 2 by 2 now this is two row and three column so order is 2 by 3 now here three row and two column so therefore order is 3 by 2 so remember students different uh, in determinant the number of row and column must be same but in case of matrix the number of column same or may be different now we see the types of matrix the first type row matrix in row matrix it contain one and only one row here we take one example a b c this is a one row and how many columns are there three columns so when the matrix contain one row and three columns that matrix is called as a row matrix similarly in case of column matrix there is one and only one column but here three rows are there so therefore r1 r2 r3 these are the three rows and this is a one column so therefore this is called as a column matrix now third type square matrix in square matrix the number of row and number of columns must be same so let's we see some example here two row and two column 2 by 2 here three row and three column that is 3 by 3 so such type of matrix is called as a square matrix so now we see the another type scalar matrix scalar, scalar matrix is also the type of a uh, one type of diagonal matrix so diagonal matrix containing all diagonal elements equal is called scalar matrix for example this is a diagonal matrix and here all the diagonal elements are same so when the diagonal elements are same and the rest of the elements are zero such type of matrix is called as a scalar matrix this is a one of the example 
5000050005. So here the diagonal elements are same. So such type of matrix is called as a scalar matrix. So now the sixth one, unit or identity matrix. This is nothing but a scalar matrix. We know that in scalar matrix all the diagonal elements are same. So same type here also when all the diagonal elements is one that time we say that it is a unit matrix. So when all diagonal element is one then that matrix is called unit or identity matrix. It is a scalar matrix denoted by I. So for example I is 1001, zero, zero, one. I is 0100, zero, 010, zero, 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 one. So that identity matrix or unit matrix is denoted by I. Now we see the algebra of matrices. First we see addition and subtraction of two or more than two matrix. Let A is A1, B1, A2, B2, B C1, D1, C2, D2. Now remember when we take addition and subtraction of two matrices, the order of the two matrix must be same. Now in this case, A and B both are two by two matrix. So A plus B, first you see how we take the addition of it. A1 add with C1, B1 add with D1, A2 add with C2, B2 add with D2. So A1 plus C1, B1 plus D1, A2 plus C2, B2 plus D2. Then subtraction A minus B. The same thing instead of addition we write down subtraction A1 minus C1, B1 minus D1, A2 minus C2 and B2 minus now, let's we see one example. A is 4, 5, 6, 2 and B is 3, 4, 6, 5. Now, when we take addition, A plus B, so we add 4 plus 3, 5 plus 4, 6 plus 6, 2 plus 5. So, after addition, we get 7, 9, 12, 7. Now, when we take subtraction, it is 4 minus 3. 5 minus 4, 6 minus 6, 2 minus 5. So here we get 4 minus 3, 1, 5 minus 4, 1, 6 minus 6, 0, 2 minus 5, minus. Now we see the scalar multiplication. Suppose we consider the matrix A, A1, B1, A2, B2, 2 by 2 matrix. Now let's we see a multiplication, scalar multiplication 3, A, that is 3 is a scalar any number 3 2 1 we have to say that it is a scalar so 3 into a that is 3 into a1 b1 a2 b2 so in case of scalar multiplication these three must be multiplied with each and every element of the matrix so 3 multiply with a1 then multiple with b1 then multiple with a2 then multiple with b2 so when you multiple any scalar with the matrix that means we have to multiply this scalar with each element of the matrix. So first we see the example suppose we take the matrix x and y and we find out the value of 3x plus y. Now solution 3x plus y that is 3 into matrix x 1 2 minus 3 4 plus y that means matrix 4 5 1 minus 3 so multiple this 3 with each element of the matrix 3 into 1 3 3 into 2 6 3 into minus 3 minus 9 3 into 4 that is 12 keep this matrix as it is now we take the addition 3 plus 4 then 6 plus 5 then 9 minus 9 plus 1 and then 12 now here plus and this minus so it is minus 3 so finally we get answer 7 11 minus 8 and 9 see the another example a 1 0 3 minus 5 b 6 3 2 minus 1 c 4 5 9 minus 3 then we find out 3a plus 2b minus c. So first we have to arrange 3a plus 2b minus c like this way. 
मल्टीपल थ्री मल्टीपल टू एंड देन यू टेक एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रेक्शन सी हि द एंसर सो अदर एग्जाम्पल इफ ए इज टू थ्री फोर सेवन बी इज वन थ्री फोर सिक्स मैट्रिक्स वी फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ टू ए प्लस थ्री बी माइनस फोर है नो फर्स्ट वी फाइंड आउट टू ए प्लस थ्री बी टू इंटू मैट्रिक्स ए प्लस थ्री इंटू मैट्रिक्स बी मल्टीपल टू विथ इच एलिमेंट मल्टीपल थ्री विथ इच एलिमेंट सी हियर देन वी टेक द एडिशन ऑफ दिस टू मैट्रिक्स फोर प्लस थ्री सिक्स प्लस नाइन एट प्लस ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन प्लस एटीन दिस इज द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ दिस नाउ टू ए प्लस थ्री बी माइनस फोर आई आई इज अ यूनिट मैट्रिक्स और आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स इफ द गिवन मैट्रिक्स इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टू बाय टू देन यू सिलेक्ट आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स वन जीरो जीरो वन इफ इट इज इन थ्री बाय थ्री फॉर्म देन वी सिलेक्ट वन जीरो 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 वन जीरो 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 वन नाउ हियर टू बाय टू मैट्रिक्स सो दैट्स वाई वी सिलेक्ट आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स इज वन जीरो जीरो वन सो मल्टीपल विथ फोर सो वी गेट सेवन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी थर्टी टू माइनस दिस इज फोर इंटू वन फोर फोर इंटू जीरो जीरो अगेन फोर इंटू जीरो जीरो एंड फोर इंटू वन इज फोर रिमेंबर यू कीप दिस निगेटिव साइन एज इट इज यू मल्टीपल ओनली फोर विद द एलिमेंट्स नाउ यू टेक द कैलकुलेशन सेवन माइनस फोर दैट इज थ्री फिफ्टीन माइनस जीरो दैट इज फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी माइनस जीरो दैट इज ट्वेंटी थर्टी टू माइनस फोर दैट इज ट्वेंटी एट दिस इज द आंसर